In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to recall an email that you sent using Microsoft Outlook. Because there are two versions of Microsoft Outlook, the traditional 365 desktop app and the new version that's coming out, I'm gonna show you how to do this in both versions. I do want to also caveat though that you can use this tool inside of emails that are sent within your organization, but you cannot use it for external people. And the reason for this is your organization doesn't control the external tendencies. So once that email leaves your outbox and touches somebody else's uh, inbox that is outside your organization, even if you use the same steps to do the recall, these steps won't work. And that's because you can't control what happens outside your organization. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see we're here inside of the traditional Microsoft 365 Outlook application and we're in our sent items. We wanna recall this email that we sent to Grady, Megan and Adele, and it's quite easy to do this. The first thing to do is double tap and open that email up full. Then we go in the top left-hand corner in the file section. And here you can see there are four boxes, encrypt, move to five boxes, sorry, open delivery call, resend a recall and properties. What the option we're after is the message recall and resend that allows you to resend this email or attempt to recall it from recipients. Now we're gonna select in this option here and you can see we can choose to recall this email or resend it with updated contents or change participants. Either of these are gonna work, uh, but for today we're gonna to choose on the option of recall this message and it says it's going to delete or replace a sent message. We'll simply select on this option here. This dialog box is gonna pop up and it's gonna say, message recall can delete or replace copies of this message in the recipient's inbox if they have not read it yet. So if they've opened it, that email is gonna live there. But if they haven't opened it and they're inside your organization, you can actually choose to remove that email. And then it's gonna ask, are you sure you want to delete the unread copies? or do you wanna delete it and replace it with a new message? And then of course, there's a, tick bottom, there's a tick box saying, tell me if the recall is successful or if it's failed for each person. In this example, we're simply going to delete the copies and select on okay. The first thing that pops up here is a little I. It says you try to recall this message and the date of that recall. And if we go into our inbox within about 30 seconds of sending that, um, that recall, you will get this Office 365 recall report saying, recall reports, uh, you try to recall a message, click on the link below to view the results. So we open up this recall report and this will tell us if it is successful, pending or failed. So this may take a little bit of time. Um, right now it's trying to access their inboxes uh, and of course you can go back and check on this later on uh, and it will tell you if it has failed or if the message has successfully been recalled. The second way of doing this recall is by using the new Microsoft Outlook uh, client. So same or similar sorts of steps, we're simply gonna go into our sent items, uh, but it's a little easier this time, we are just going to right click on that email, then we're gonna scroll down to advanced actions, and then there is a button here of recall message. So it makes it a little bit easier to recall, and then we're simply gonna select on the option of recall message. The pop-up box is gonna open up very similar uh, to the previous option, but it just basically says, do you want to delete it from all recipients' mailboxes? You have no option here to edit it. You're simply gonna select on OK if you want to proceed. And then we jump back over to our inbox. And then we should get in a couple of seconds, there we go, that 365 recall report, where we can go ahead and view that recall report one more time. And then of course here, we can go in and check the status of that recall. Uh, it is much easier to do in the new Outlook, but of course you only get the option of recalling, you can't edit and recall on here. And there you have it, it is that easy to recall an email sent using Microsoft Outlook. We looked at this using the traditional Outlook desktop application as well as the new app that is coming out. Uh, but again, that caveat is this will only work if you send an email inside your organization with tenancy. There's no way that I know of to recall an email once it has left your organization. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.